Jackson, uh, Jane Blaze, uh, 252 Riverview Circle in High Springs, Florida. Thanks for the opportunity in your time. <clears throat> so we have four families who are planning a full frontal assault on us, our rivers and aquifer. Yes, they have a right to the use of their private property, but they don't live on an island in the Pacific. They live right here, right next to us. What if they were asking to dig a gigantic borrow pit, take hundreds of millions of gallons of Agent Orange off the hands of DuPont in exchange for a good amount of money? Wouldn't fly, would it? Well, we wouldn't be here tonight if these guys were proposing to grow soybeans. We wouldn't be here if they wanted to grow timber. This ongoing battle between private property rights and the public good reminds me a lot of the battle I witnessed growing up in the era of big tobacco class action lawsuits. Little by little, the science was admitted, accepted. Little by little, they began to institute protections affecting the right of a tobacco company to sell its product and the right of an individual not to be assaulted by toxic airborne fumes and chemicals. Eventually, the right of an individual to smoke was limited to areas with minimal impact on innocent bystanders. We all know that was a good thing. There are still people out there that smoke, but most of them probably wish they could quit. The science comes in every day on phosphate mining. Little by little, spill by toxic spill, sinkhole by sinkhole, one class action lawsuit at a time. Any individuals genuinely convinced that phosphate mining is beneficial for more than just a few has a dog in that fight and that dog's name is Greed. Oh, thank you. <laughs>